morning everyone and welcome to our youtube live view, uh, viewers we shall begin the program shortly as our guests are arriving I'll commence shortly.
the exchange of cultures values and knowledge between two nations mark the growth of humanity altogether ohayo gozaimas namaskar adab and a very good morning to one and all i aisha siddiqui and i jigyasu which of blde family feel highly privileged to host you on this beautiful event to celebrate the 70th anniversary of establishment of indo japan relations let me take the honor to welcome our esteemed dignitaries to the dais i request dr uc nuchi sir professor department of forensic medicine and toxicology to escort honorable dr mb patil sir chancellor blde dean to be university to the dais thank you sir i request dr sumangla patil ma'am professor and head department of physiology to escort mr katsumasa mario san to the dais I request Dr. Surekha Hippergi, ma'am, Professor, Department of Pathology, to kindly escort Dr. R. S. Mudol, sir, Vice Chancellor, B. L. D. Dean to B. University. I request Dr. M. M. Patil, sir, Professor, Department of Pediatrics, to escort Dr. M. Basan Gora Patil. director of bld association i request dr uc nuchi sir to kindly escort dr arun inamdar sir dean faculty of allied health sciences dr j g ambekar sir registrar bld dean to be university and dr raghavendra kulkarni sir chief administrative officer blde association thank you everyone to welcome all the eminent guests from different parts of the world and different walks of life who have come here to share their knowledge and vast experiences with us May I now invite Ms. Medha Mani Sharma for the welcome speech. I request Dr. Nuchi Sir to kindly escort Dr. Sajjan Sir to the dais. Nana Korobi Yaoki a famous Japanese proverb which means fall down seven times but stand up eight a very good morning to one and all i medha mani sharma of bldee family is extremely delighted to have the opportunity to welcome you all and our extreme dignitaries fatherly protection yet filled with discipline and resolution describes none other than then our honorable chancellor dr mb patil sir without whom all the opportunities and freedom that we enjoy today would have not been possible i sincerely welcome you sir i am glad to welcome our courteous vice chancellor dr r s mudhol sir whose principles of truth and morality are the very pillars of blde I welcome you sir It is said that if you have a burning desire and plan to take action there is absolutely nothing that you cannot achieve with these words i am profusely elated to take the opportunity to welcome our diligent chief guest mr mr katsu 
Katsu Mar Mr. Katsu Masa Maru Sansa. With equal pleasure, I wholeheartedly welcome Mr. Dolvin Kutina, whose passion for his work turns out every challenge into an opportunity. Although Principal Sir is not here, but we do remember him and I would like to say a few words for him. He, it is because of him, he taught us this thing. You learn a lot when you are barefoot because each step that you take forth is different. Please give a huge round of applause for our Principal Sir. I wholeheartedly welcome our visionary Dean Faculty of Allied Health Science, Dr. Arun Inamda, sir. I'm glad to welcome our humble and compassionate registrar, Dr. J.G. Ambedkar, sir. I wholeheartedly welcome our ambitious and proficient Chief Administrative Officer, Dr. Raghuvendra Kulkarni, sir. I warmly welcome our generous director, BLDE Association, Mr. Basav Gorda M. Patil, sir. Let's together give a warm welcome to all our dignitaries by putting our hands together. Come on, all of you. The system wants you to be a bow or an arrow, but refuse both because there is a third choice to be an archer. The Republic of India, the seventh largest in landmass and the largest democracy of the world, the land of vibrant colors, spices, cultures, traditions, and the best example of unity in diversity. Japan, the country with the legacy of distinctive gardens, sculptures, poetry, calligraphy, flower arrangements, and yes, of course, the birthplace of delicious sushi. With the grace of Almighty, I am honored to witness and be a part of this auspicious occasion of establishment of Indo-Japanese diplomatic relation in the field of education with the hope that this brings good fortune and opportunities for both the nations. Let's hear it again for a better future. Come on, everyone, give a huge round of applause. Take the first step in faith. You do not have to see the whole staircase. With these empowering words of Martin Luther King Jr., I wholeheartedly welcome all the people from different walks of life, the administrators of BLDE University and Association, principals of various institutions of BLDE Association, head of departments and staff member, our beloved students, press and me media. Thank you all. Thank you, Medha, for your wonderful speech. Prayers connect souls beyond languages, and spirituality invokes peace and harmony. May I please call upon our beloved Dr. Leela Hugar, ma'am, Assistant Professor, Department of Pharmacology, for the prayer of heaven in the Japanese language.
Thank you so much ma'am. We all are really mesmerized by your melodious voice. You are such an inspiration for all of us. She has rightly proven that prayer and spirituality knows no linguistic boundaries. Thank you ma'am. International relations give us a deep cultural understanding that lays the foundation of interaction with cultures having different values, beliefs, etc. We at BLDE deemed to be university are extremely blissful to host Sir Maruo Katsumasa, who happens to look forward for various educational exchange programs between the two countries. Needless to state, he is a dynamic personality in all walks of life, and all of us must inculcate and imbibe his charisma. I request Ms. Sakshi Bhatia to introduce Sir to the gathering. Good afternoon to one and all. It is indeed a beautiful day, all soaked in delighted frame of mind. I, Sakshi Bhatia, from BLDE family, have the privilege of introducing to you our honorable chief guest, Mr. Maruo Katsumasa. Sir secured admission in Waseda University to pursue a degree in Bachelor of Law and completed his graduation in March 1990. In April 1990, Sir joined the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Embassy of Japan in December 1990. In July 1995, he worked in Domestic Public Relations Division, where he was engaged in editing public relations magazine for intellectual, pol which speaks of his intellectual power. Sir joined Intelligence Coordination Division in October 1997, where he worked for planning policies for gathering diplomatic intelligence with the beginning of millennium in August 2000 for the purpose of planning policies for protecting Japanese people overseas in terrorist incidents, so became a part of terrorism preparedness and response division. A couple of years later, in the month of August 2002, with the motive of building public relations between Japan and Jaju, so was assigned as a Consulate General of Japan, Jaju Republic of Korea. With the beginning of new decade in April 2011, Sir joined the Security Division for planning policies for protecting Japanese overseas. And as rightly said, be firm about your choices right now. Don't go backward to habits and situations that weren't helping you to evolve. You have to keep reminding yourself why you even decided to move forward. So with his dedication, perseverance and consistency, Sir joined as a senior specialist for Archival Affairs Japan Centers for Asian Historical Records for the purpose of constructing database of governmental documents on modern relationships between Japan and Asian countries. 
with the vision of developing mutual understanding, exchange, and cooperation between Japan and India, Sir is now working as a Consulate General of Japan, Bangalore, India. We all are proud to have an eminent, efficient, and an affable personality among us. Thank you. Thank you, Sakshi. We are fortunate enough to have such a great personality among us. Yoko so, sir. They say that the art of communication is the language of leadership. I'm sure you will be happy to hear that we have Sir Dolvin Katenha as one of our esteemed guests for the day, who happens to be an expert in five different languages. Sir has a sound knowledge of Japanese customs and traditions, and he's constantly looking forward to discover and explore new cultures. We are enlightened by his experiences and values beyond textbooks and classroom learning. Welcome, sir. We really look up to you. Vision is something that drives us ahead towards a better future. Under the exemplary vision and prospect of our insightful chancellor, Dr. M.B. Patil, sir, BLDE deemed to be university is now amongst the top 12 universities in the country in terms of standard medical education, research, and patient health care. His efforts have further extended beyond the boundaries of BLDE Association. And under his able leadership, the city of Vijapur is developing at an exponential rate by adapting to naturally sustainable resources. I invite Ms. Sanvi Sudesh to introduce her to the gathering. Good afternoon, everyone. Today, I, Sanvi Sudesh of the BLD family, am pleased to introduce the president of BLD Association and the chancellor of BLD deemed to be university, the very honorable Dr. M.B. Patil. Under his dynamic leadership and guidance since 1990, the BLD Association has reached new heights, effectively placing us on the educational map of India. The association is developing a new campus of over 140 acres of land, providing excellent infrastructural facilities for commerce and MBA programs. For by the Sri B.M. Patil CBSE School with state-of-the-art educational facilities has been successfully active since 2010. It is a privilege to be part of such an esteemed institute pillared by such an esteemed leader. His achievements stretch far beyond the confines of the health and education sector. His political career commenced in 1991 when he got elected to the Karnataka Legislative Assembly from the Tikota constituency. He also served as a member of parliament representing Vijayapura in 1999. He swiftly rose through the ranks due to the vast love and support he received from the masses. In 2013, he was elected the cabinet minister of water resources and major irrigation, major medium irrigation. During his tenure, he initiated a pioneering experiment in the state, lifting the water from the river Krishna to dried up reservoirs, triumphantly supplying water to several drought stricken villages of the district. In this honor, he was aptly titled Adhunika Bhagirath, meaning modern Bhagirath. He was also the sole political leader invited to the National Seminar on Utilization and Challenges of Water in 2015 as a result of his revolutionary reforms in the Irrigation Department. In 2019, he was elected the Home Minister of Karnataka, during which he notably brought zero traffic to normal traffic. Furthermore, he is spearheading a popular movement called the Koti Vriksha Abhiyan, dedicated to planting one crore saplings in and around the Vijayapura district. He has been rightfully awarded the Basava Shanti Award and many, many more. Additionally, Dr. M. B. Patel took it upon himself to publish 15 volumes of 10,000 pages each in the BLD Association to ensure that the traditional literature of Dr. P. G. Halakati would be available to future generations. He also has been very instrumental in the translation of valuable Urdu writings of the Adil Shahi dynasty to the Kannada language. To honor his humanitarian beliefs and actions, the Basava Shanti Prasashti, 
that has previously been awarded to noble souls, such as the former Prime Minister Indira Gandhi, the former President Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, and the Nobel Prize awardee Mother Teresa was awarded to Dr. M. B. Patil on the 28th anniversary of the Basavashanti mission. In the celebration of the 150th birth anniversary of Dr. Ambedkar, he preached unity beyond the constructs of caste and creed. His secular ideas and attitude is exemplary and finds a special place in the history of Vijaypura. Dr. M. B. Patil is carrying on his young yet strong shoulders the great legacy of a hundred-year-old educational organization with great responsibility, while simultaneously developing the environmental, literary, and health sector. And it is a privilege to be in the presence of such an esteemed leader. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Sanvi. Hearing from you, we have learned the significance of able leadership and its positive impact on the society. Atithi Devo Bhava. भारतीय संस्कृति में अतिथि को भगवान का दर्जा दिया जाता है। Having said that, it is a moment of pride for the BLE family to host Sir Maruo and Sir Dolvin. May I request the students of 2017 batch to present a bouquet to our honourable chief guest. students of 2018 batch to present a bouquet to Honorable Chancellor Sir, Dr. M. B. Patil Sir. I request the students of 19 batch to present the bouquet to Dr. Basana Goda, sir. I request the students of 2020 batch to present a bouquet to the Vice Chancellor, sir, Dr. R.S. Madhul, sir. I request Nuchi sir to kindly present a bouquet to Dr. to Kathinha sir, advisor for the day.
I request Dr. M. B. Patil, sir, Chancellor, VLD Team to be University, to felicitate Sir Maru Katsumasa, sir. And I also request other dignitaries to join along. high degree of congruence in terms of culture, politics, economy, technology, etc. And view each other as partners to respond to global and regional challenges. We are proud to share that there are over 300 academic partnerships between two countries, which range from liberal arts to management, business studies, linguistics, technology, etc. BLDES institutions are doing extremely well. College of Engineering is ranked 35 in all India. BLDE deemed to be university is ranked sixth in all India. College of Pharmacy is recognized as 10 most promising pharmacy colleges in India by Higher Education Review Survey 2020. BLDE Association and its constituent institutions have academic collaborations with universities of USA, UK, Singapore, Portugal, Poland, and Ethiopia. On this auspicious occasion, we aim to step up our medical education by pursuing for various undergraduate and postgraduate exchange programs so that the students and doctors from both the countries evolve multi-sectorially in terms of diagnosing, treating and monitoring the disease to make the society a better place to live. Therefore, I request Dr. M. B. Patil, sir, to present a memorandum to our chief guest for establishment of industries in Bijapur. After this insightful memorandum presentation, I'm sure the Indo-Japanese relations will take a new height, as rightly addressed by my friend, Ms. Sakshi Bhatia. Sir is multifaceted and excellent in all walks of life. I can't wait to hear his remarks to celebrate the 70th anniversary of establishment of Indo-Japan relations. 
May I take the honor to call sir to podium to enlighten us within golden words. नमस्कार नन्ना हेसारू हाथमा सामू निम्मा बेटी माधी तुम्बा सतोष वाइटू टुडे आई वेल स्पीक अबाउट द Uh, 76th anniversary of the uh, establishment of the diplomatic relation uh, between Japan and India, and South Asia uh, Japan Exchange Year of 2022. Uh, first, uh, I will explain. Uh, uh, I will explain about uh, what is the uh, uh, what is the uh, 70th anniversary of. Uh, Establish of the diplomatic relation uh, between Japan and India, and uh, what did uh, South uh, Southeast Asia, uh, Southwest Asia, Japan exchange year? Uh, as you know, uh, the, the year uh, 2022 uh, marks the uh, 70th uh, anniversary of the establish of uh, diplomatic relations uh, between Japan and India. And uh, not only it, uh, not only it, uh, it is also the milestone uh, year with regard to the Japan's relationship uh, with uh, other countries uh, in South Southwest Asia, uh, for example, uh, Sri Lanka and Bangladesh. Uh, and therefore, uh, the minister. Uh, uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Japan uh, has decided to the, uh, designate 2022 uh, as the year of Southwest uh, Asia uh, Japan Exchange Year. Uh, of course, uh, in India, uh, where uh, 70 uh, years uh, have passed uh, since the establishment of uh, diplomatic relations. Uh, with Japan, it is uh, it is also the uh, 70th anniversary uh, of the establish, uh, establishment of diplomatic relations uh, between Japan and India. Okay, uh, I understand that we uh, uh, you have been uh, passed the two documents. Uh, one is like a uh, explanation of the out, outline. Uh, the, of my speech, and uh, uh, the other documents as the logo mark uh, of the uh, uh, anniversary of the uh, establishment, establishment of the uh, diplomatic relations uh, between Japan and India, and the logo mark uh, of the Southwest, uh, Southwest Asia uh, Japan Exchange Year. Uh, please, uh, uh, please say that uh, uh, logo mark. Uh, the the logo mark uh, is shaped uh, at the uh, uh, logo mark is shaped at the uh, similar with the uh, uh, pigeons. Yeah, so which is uh, uh, which is the uh, 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 symbols of peace uh, in Japan. Uh, so uh, uh, logo mark is shaped uh, shaped of uh, uh, shape of the uh, pigeons, and uh, uh, the shape uh, is uh, the shape is the uh, logo mark is uh, uh, it it like a rectangle uh, rather than like a round. It is uh, it's described the uh, Japanese uh, Japanese uh, traditional play uh, named origami. 
so it's uh, described uh, uh, described like uh, pigeons are made by origami. And uh, 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 and the, uh, at the uh, at the right side of uh, at the right right side of the logomark, uh, for the, uh, in case of the, the Southwest Asia Japan exchange year, uh, the all the flag of uh, flag of the all the uh, countries uh, the, in the Southwest Asia uh, it described, uh, and the, the other logomark. Uh, uh, right side uh, uh, is descri described uh, the of flag of uh, India, uh, which uh, the uh, which represent the, uh, the 70th anniversary of uh, establishment of the diplomatic relations between Japan and India. Okay, now of uh, the actually uh, actually. Uh, both year uh, of uh, about the old, both year, uh, only the outline is uh, uh, has been decided. The concrete uh, concrete items are uh, uh, to be decided uh, uh, toward the end of the uh, end of this year. Uh, and next, I will uh, explain the uh, objective of uh, both year. One, uh, first, uh, through the ex uh, enhancement of the exchanges at all level, uh, the dr dramatic uh, development relations, the historical links between Japan and the uh, countries of Southeast, Southwest Asia, including uh, that of the, between Japan and uh, India, uh, will be highlighted the uh, uh, recent year uh, both in Japan and uh, abroad, especially in India. Uh, about the uh, uh, development of uh, relationship uh, between Japan and India uh, uh, will, be, uh, the, uh, will be mentioned later. Uh, second, uh, to further uh, uh, strengthen uh, the cooperation uh, between Japan and Southwest Asia uh, uh, countries including between uh, India and Japan. And okay, uh, a third point is the uh, stance of the, our consulate. The stance of uh, consulate general of Japan in Bengaluru uh, on the occasion of the uh, 70th uh, anniversary uh, of the establishment, uh, establishment of uh, diplomatic relations uh, between uh, Japan and India and Southeast Asia exchange year. Uh, first, we aim to promote cultural exchange, uh, not only in, in terms of uh, traditional culture, uh, but also in terms of food, uh, pop culture, and tourism, and so on. Uh, second, in addition to uh, cultural exchange, uh, we also aim to promote uh, the, to sp promote the spread of uh, Japanese language and uh, economic economic exchange, uh, uh, for example, promote the uh, promotion uh, of in invest and uh, business uh, in Rome, et cetera. Thirdly, uh, we also hope to promote the understanding of Japan and the history uh, of Japan-India relations uh, among the uh, people of Karnataka and foster a sense of the affinity toward Japan. Uh, okay, so some, of, uh, some of you uh, know uh, the, the, about the Japan, uh, India, uh, Japan, India, uh, uh, different uh, relationship. Uh, at the ancient, uh, ancient time uh, of Buddhism, uh, Came, uh, Buddhism came uh, from India uh, through, uh, uh, okay, through China and the Korean Peninsula. And uh, some of the, uh, uh, there are uh, many gods in Japan. And uh, some, of the, uh, some of the Japanese gods uh, uh, have been, uh, have been uh, derived from India. 
and uh, uh, the, in modern uh, modern period, uh, Jap Japanese people or, and uh, uh, Indian people uh, has been uh, inter has interacted uh, each other. And and of course, uh, we hope to uh, promote an understanding of the uh, general value or shared between uh, Japan and India, uh, such as the democracy, uh, market economy, and among the uh, people of Karnataka. Okay, uh, uh, as, uh, uh, as mentioned, uh, uh, the uh, welcoming remarks, uh, India uh, is the biggest uh, democratic uh, nations. Uh, in the world, and uh, Japan is also the democratic, uh, democratic, democratic, uh, matured or democratic uh, nation. And uh, uh, we have, uh, uh, we, uh, we, our, uh, our nations uh, have the value of the uh, market or economy. And uh, uh, we, uh, Japan and India, uh, based on uh, based on the, these uh, values, uh, Japan and India uh, have the developed the relationship, uh, the deep and the deep and the de relationship. Uh, the, for example, the, in the area of the politics, uh, security, uh, and the economics and the uh, uh, cultural and the human exchanges. Uh, not only uh, uh, this uh, relationship. Uh, is not only a bilateral relationship, uh, but also uh, the framework of the uh, uh, Quad, uh, that is, uh, that is uh, Japan, India, US, United States, and Australia, uh, especially in the security areas. And, uh, uh, and we, uh, Japanese government uh, promote the uh, uh, policy uh, for the realize the uh, uh, of free, uh, uh, free open uh, Indo-Pacific region, uh, uh, which is uh, which, uh, which shared, uh, uh, for example, the rule of law, uh, freedom of uh, freedom of the setting, and so on. Uh, we have to uh, uh, we have to, Japan and India uh, have to uh, cooperate uh, each other. Uh, the, in, not only in the uh, view of the Japan and uh, India, uh, but also the, the in, in, but also the, in the view of the uh, Indo-Pacific region, the Africa, including uh, uh, Latin America, North America, uh, Southeast Asia, or uh, South Asia, uh, Middle East, and Africa, and uh, and uh, or rest of the world. Uh, Japan and uh, Japan and uh, India uh, have have to uh, co uh, cooperate in the view of, uh, especially in the view of uh, Middle East, Southeast Asia, and Africa. Okay, now uh, we we have to uh, uh, exp explain the role of organization uh, based on, uh, based in Karnataka and the Consulate General of Japan in Bangalore. Uh, as of now, uh, as I said, uh, as I mentioned uh, before, uh, the concrete uh, items uh, uh, are to be decided uh, in the in the near future. The first uh, organization of the Karnataka, uh, Karnat, uh, the role of the role of organization is Karnataka is. Uh, conducting uh, conducting commemorative uh, project uh, in the event and uh, promoting the uh, 70th anniversary of the uh, service of uh, diplomatic relations uh, between uh, Japan and India and South Southwest uh, Asia Japan uh, year exchange year. Uh, whereas uh, the Consulate General of Japan's uh, in Bengal's uh, the role. Uh, conducting the commemorative event, uh, the uh, concrete of the commemorative event uh, will be uh, will be mentioned later. 
uh, and second, uh, publicizing the uh, 70th anniversary of the uh, establishment of diplomatic relations uh, between uh, Japan and India uh, and South Southwest Asia, Japan, uh, uh, Exchange Europe. And third, recognizes uh, the culture program and the Japan Inter Exchange program uh, conducted by various org organizations uh, as being uh, conducted under the banner of uh, Southwest uh, Asia Japan Exchange Year. Okay. And, um, okay. Uh, and uh, lastly, uh, major, uh, I, work, uh, I want to uh, mention about the major culture event uh, conducted by uh, our consulate, the Consulate General of Japan in Bangalore, uh, as of now. The uh, first uh, Japan Food Fest. Uh, Japan Food Fest uh, uh, has been, has been uh, uh, conducted uh, the offline email, uh, event uh, and uh, as an offline event uh, as an uh, outdoor event uh, to promote the, uh, promote the Jap Japanese uh, food and Japanese sake. In the past, uh, we have uh, had a Japanese restaurant and uh, Japanese uh, companies uh, set up store uh, to promote Japanese uh, food and sake. Uh, but uh, the, as you know, uh, due to uh, COVID-19, uh, we, uh, uh, we will not be able to uh, hold an like, uh, offline uh, outdoor uh, event. So next year, uh, we are planning to hold this event uh, online in next March. Uh, and uh, we, will, we will make uh, a special event uh, to correct the uh, uh, correct uh, published uh, co uh, published comments uh, from uh, contents from a Japanese restaurant, Japanese company, and so on. Uh, we hope that the event will, be, will promote uh, deeper understanding of uh, Japanese food and sake, uh, and lead to increase uh, orders uh, for Japanese food. And uh, second, uh, cosplay work. Uh, cosplay, uh, cosplay is the art of uh, dressing up uh, in costume uh, to present life, uh, like a version of a popular anime uh, characters uh, to uh, eager audience. The people who dress up in the costume are called the costume uh, cosplayers. Uh, the purpose of the, this event uh, to bring uh, awareness among the uh, people of Karnataka and India regarding the uh, Japanese pop culture, uh, including cosplay uh, through an uh, uh, improved, uh, improved uh, parade of a uh, cosplayer uh, on the street or the uh, street in Bengaluru. Uh, I hope uh, uh, we ho our consulate hope to uh, uh, hope to hold this event after next summer, uh, if uh, COVID nineteen is uh, finished. In this event, Karnataka residents, Japanese residents in Karnataka. Uh, and uh, cosplayer uh, participate uh, from the, all of the India. We hope that uh, this event can be held uh, next uh, next year in a similar manner uh, as described uh, uh, described uh, before. The timing of the event will be decided in consideration of the risk of infection of the COVID nineteen pandemic. Dani Watagaru. Thank you, sir. Your valuable words have added a charm to the event. Uh, good afternoon to everybody. Uh, now, we have got faculty here. We are Medical University. Along with us, our uh, other health science uh, colleges are there, pharmacy, nursing, and uh, Ayurveda. So all the faculties are there. Kindly, eight to 10 questions he is going to take. 
kindly uh, we'll uh, start from the dr das yeah please you know the japan is war ravaged country uh, with a small very small in the world map how it bounced back after the hiroshima nagasaki bombing that country has got the kaizen and the six sigma is kaizen and six continuous improvement and the quality with that they have made a very good niche over the world where is the japan you know that anything you name japan now the my faculty i want to uh, the you kindly ask him how best the artificial intelligence can be helped in the chronic diseases especially the diabetes hypertension and how best uh, dr das is going to ask herbal medicine of this can do the with their collaboration mainly the artificial intelligence health related and culture and uh, other things yesterday they have asked uh, my request to my faculty and other our uh, other allied faculties kindly ask some of the questions thank you honorable consulate general sir honorable chancellor supreme be patil sir honorable vice chancellor sir respected director of bill association and other dignitaries like dean dr arun <coughs> sinam i started my career actually with the one japanese instrument named hitachi we have the two options hitachi and beckman beckman from german and hitachi from japan what the cold centrifuges or that time used to call as ultra centrifuges it used to rotate one lakh time that is 0.1 million time per minute it is to rotate that was not available anywhere we discarded the beckman though beckman is world famous and still it is existing in a very high color we selected hitachi for one reason there was a report of about the beckman when this instrument was operating it could not control its speed and it has actually exploded and terrace of the house were actually been destroyed and that report was so dangerous that time when my doing the phd at 80, 1985 it's 86 87 during this period that we are shaken of german we have a very much trust on the japan german so we us to take the hitachi so we have started my career at specifically myself in my old generation of the research who have continued with the hitachi so that's the respect i think that i learned from my beginning of my career as a doctoral student of india understanding japan in that way as you have mainly focused on the cultural issues mainly focus on the international relations but definitely i can say one word about that the international relations and culture must be transmitted to the science countries of south asian association these countries specifically india japan india Jer india sri lanka bangladesh nepal bhutan maldives afghanistan these and pakistan these countries are actually devoid of the science if we go to japan or south korea in asian country or singapore we find a total change in the different ways so we want the knowledge from the science and technology to uplift our institutions so far the consulate general concerned it is mainly focused in the mega cities of india and ideas and concept are mainly to uplift the government sectors or public sectors where public tax payers as they say it it uplift for the science and promotion but here in this remote part of karnataka northern part you might have seen that we have tried our best to promote the science culture as such in a deeper way so that it can transmit the sense of feelings and belongingness towards the art at the same space by which german us uk japan they belong to so i request here one thing that how to promote as our honorable vice chancellor said it clearly said that we are in the medical university in this institution though we have the multiple institution under honorable chancellor sir we are at the moment in this part of karnataka a lack of the data registry on diseases 
We know very well the COVID-19 given as an alarm that a registration of each of the diseases is a very important and to be pertained to the world standard to understand better development. We did not actually prepare it. And we find ourselves at the moment that data registration of the cancer, blood pressure, I know very well Japan is one of the issue of the aging population for the hypertension, diabetes, stroke, this three. We also have the same, but we have a large number of populations. So the percentage is even the same, but our number of sufferers are more. This is one important point in this perspective. I want this thing to ask you, request you for this. Is it possible that registration of data for cancer, blood pressure, diabetes, stroke, et cetera, with use of artificial intelligence in which Japan is far ahead of us. And this will help to make a small and very short ways to idea to get the distribution of the disease patterns and how it spread because Japan will be benefited. I also tell not only will be benefited by your support, contributions and knowledge and Japan will be benefited by the number of subjects and clinical patients. I know very well that Japan at the moment, the clinical subject and clinical trials, there are restrictions and there are less number of clinical trials as such compared to the basic science research. So here in India, we do, I'm a basic scientist, but I know very well until it is translated into the clinical, then we can't do it. But way of translation to artificial insulin, in, uh, intelligence is the need of the hour. And Japan can actually help us and improve our both cultural, because when human transport one place to other place, they actually transport also the culture along with them. So I think, that this is the way if Japan come forward to help us because we have a solid engineering college, excellent medical schools with a high standard public faculties and a very good quality of the research with a world standard and collaborations. I think with your support and other pharmacy departments and pharmacy also drug designing and drug developments are well equipped. I think the artificial intelligence required for that drug designing and all. So I wish and I pray that kindly your honor, your honor, to support us for artificial intelligence promotion in the healthcare database to store and keep it in a proper way, which can be distributed globally with our credibility in the entire North Karnataka data, which is not at all available in Indian, as well as the world domain, which is missing. So this missing data collections is your this ones. So this is one. And second is a very small, that is the, in this part of the Karnataka, North Karnataka, we have the indigenous plants. And now these indigenous plants are very much important for the development of drug, including COVID-19. That is the way the world is going for if there is a treatment, not the vaccine, then what should be the treatment line? And in that case, these herbs are now being actually taken care of by the Chinese medicines, Korean medicine, Japanese system of medicine, Indian system of medicine. We are very much going for that part. And in this regard, I can say that for the last one decade, there is a Tremendous change of ecological aspects of the Bijapur. It was earlier drought, now it is green. It is slowly becoming green and lot of waters. So this make actually culture of the more number, more concentration of the plant generation and herbs, which is very typical. Some plants are here, which in my laboratory where we have done, and Dr. Kulkarni is there, we have done collaborations also. This has been found in a very effective to the anti-hypertensive and anti-diabetic impact implication. And some we are trying to get the neurological disorder in stroke by which our laboratory expertization in the development of the stroke in animal model, but it needs a clinical translation. So I think Japan will be also supporting us because they also need the clinical support. We also need, we have the data and more unique features and Japan may also have, so we can have an understanding. That should be the true spirit of collaboration and purpose of MOU. Thank you very much, sir.
Uh, okay, so thank you for uh, thank you for the request and uh, questions. Actually, uh, our uh, consulate general uh, cannot be uh, cannot uh, directly uh, conduct, uh, but uh, there uh, there is one uh, route. Uh, uh, we uh, we uh, with the Jetro or the uh, Bangalore office. Uh, uh, we uh, our, uh, our consulate uh, along with the uh, Jetro Con Jetro Bangalore office uh, is uh, conducting the uh, uh, bridging uh, between the Jap uh, Japanese company, the uh, Indian company, uh, including uh, including uh, IT and uh, AI uh, errors. Uh, Jetro, uh, or Jetro Bangor uh, uh, office uh, is focusing uh, recently uh, the, on the uh, healthcare, healthcare uh, and the startup uh, uh, IT areas. Uh, so uh, we, uh, mm, uh, we, can, uh, we can please uh, between the Jetro or, or uh, Jetro or Bangalore office and uh, uh, North Karnataka companies, and uh, also uh, can be uh, also can share the, to the uh, headquarter uh, in Tokyo. Yeah, thank you. I have taken that card and email ID. Yes, I will write. Yes, sir. Yes, I will do. Thank you, sir. Uh, good afternoon to all. A respected dignitaries on the dais and off the dais. Uh, myself, Dr. Pramod Sibargi, HOD, uh, uh, Department of Russia, Sabayshadja, PID, AVS, Ayurveda, Mahavidyalaya. As uh, we and Japan are having very close relations uh, regarding cultural relations, so we, uh, Buddhism went from India to Japan and again is coming back from Japan to India. As our cultural relations speaks regarding Ayurveda and uh, Yoga, so uh, we want to spread it in uh, Japan through scientific modalities and all those. Researches are going on here also. We have very well-established well infrastructure for Ayurveda and Yoga. So can we have any relations uh, in developing further? That is my request also. So thank you, sir. Uh, Actually, uh, actually, uh, we are uh, we are wondering how uh, uh, how the, how to promote uh, to Japanese uh, Japanese person to, uh, the in Indian traditional uh, uh, medicine uh, such as uh, such as Ayurveda and uh, yoga uh, to, in the context of uh, promoting the uh, promoting the Japanese. Uh, uh, Japanese tourists uh, to India, uh, especially uh, Karnataka and uh, Kerala. Uh, but, but, uh, uh, but as it now, uh, so we cannot we cannot find the like, uh, answer for of the uh, of your questions. Uh, so uh, we are continuously. Uh, uh, wondering and uh, wondering to find the uh, answer. Uh, so, oh, so I think we have to uh, think uh, together on oh, that question. Thank you.
a uh, very good uh, good afternoon to you sir uh, as we all are aware that india and japan have many similarities in their cultures so my uh, so what plans can we have uh, to make our bond uh, more stronger thank you Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for uh, thank you for your question. Uh, so, uh, understand the uh, uh, deepen the understanding about uh, about each other. Uh, we uh, Japanese side and the Indian side, uh, we have to uh, make efforts uh, more and more. Uh, so we have, uh, we would like to uh, make effort to uh, uh, promote the Indian culture to Japan and uh, uh, Japanese culture to Indian persons, uh, uh, especially uh, Karnataka, uh, vice versa. Thank you. Sir, excuse me, sir. Sir, good afternoon, sir. Okay. Good afternoon to everyone. Oh, Sir, okay. I am Solomon Chopade, nursing college principal. Sir, most of our students, they migrate to Western countries and Arabian countries. Uh, my question is that, is there any uh, prospectors for Indian nurses to work in uh, Japan? And if there is anything, then whether they have any licensure uh, examination in Japan for Indian nurses to work? Oh, the, I want to know the part the uh, what the what nurse mean? Staff nurses, sir. After okay. finishing student period, uh, they have to work as a staff okay. nurse. Actually, actually, uh, uh, help the doctor. Doctors, no staff uh, nurses, sir. Okay. In a clinical area, to work as a staff nurse, sir, is there any opportunity for them to work there in a hospital? Oh uh, yeah. I have no, uh, as of now, okay. uh, I have no idea, okay, uh, but uh, to, I have the, uh, I have the uh, deep uh, relationship be between the, uh, between one Japanese hospital in Bangalore and uh, our consulate. Uh, so we can, uh, uh, we can consult with uh, a Japanese, uh, uh, Japanese hospital in Bangalore. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, yeah. Good afternoon, sir. Yes. It's my privilege to discuss with you. Uh, I am the background of Ayurveda. So I have read, I have little knowledge regarding the Japanese medicine that is traditional medicine of Japan and China. And similarly, we have the traditional medicine in Ayur as Ayurveda in India. And in national policy of Japan, you have included around 148 herbal medicines. Uh, for the health uh, uh, maintenance, where uh, I have the little knowledge that the medicines what they are using in the Japan will be like, they will take the symptoms of the patient and directly they will give the treatment. But the basic concept they are applying is the Panchabhautika Siddhanta, that is Pancha Mahabhutas of the patient, they, uh, like that. Similarly, in Ayurveda, we have the background of Pancha Mah Mahabhuta Siddhanta, based on that only we, we treat the patients. So I feel that the traditional medicines of all over the world will be having the concept of Pancha Mahabhata Siddhanta. So I feel all the, uh, uh, like uh, worldwide, if all together we work on that and we find, get the research done on that and together we, we apply the knowledge of uh, all the sciences and make a plan for the, the treatment. As example, in COVID, like uh, we get vaccinated, but it is not sure that whether after vaccination, we are not get, going to get the COVID. But when we apply the basic rule of this one and treat the patient with help of this traditional knowledge, it will be more ben beneficial in the health system. So I want that Japan and India together, if we work on this traditional medicine and come up with the, the benefits to the society, it will be helpful for everyone. Thank you. Thank you.
Okay. Uh, okay. It is a very, uh, very new idea from you. Uh, so uh, I first uh, have to share to the related, uh, the uh, related uh, organization, uh, the more well, such as uh, Jetro, uh, the headquarter uh, in our headquarter and uh, uh, Japanese company. Uh, in Bangalore, uh, so oh, we have to uh, the find the answer to the uh, cooperating uh, with the, uh, such organizations. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now, as a university head, I am asking you, uh, a rather request to you, uh, immediately what can happen through your diplomatic channel is that uh, student exchange and stop exchange whether it is a 15 days, one month, we are having you with the other universities. Immediately, through your diplomatic channel, when we, you have seen the Bijapur, now you understood what is Bijapur and what is the culture, what is the university, what is the sports complex, all that you, unless we go to that place, will not understand. As Dr. Das has said, human transport itself carries all the things. My request to you, uh, through your diplomatic channel, can you find out to post my house surgeons, interns to your country for 15 days. That one uh, student has gone and come uh, and postgraduates and faculty members. Uh, like that, uh, my request to me. Yeah, we are going to give the request, but his uh, channel has to work. My request on the behalf of the university to you. Uh, this is immediately can happen. It will not take much thing. We are ready to sponsor them. You have to get the Yes sir. yes, sir. I have studied also their university, 12 universities. They have got the ranks of the 150 and 400. They have got 600 rank world university. Now, India has also departments have uh, entered in the world university. And we want to, now we are working on that. But through your diplomatic channel also, our uh, officer is there, Balvin. And kindly, our request to you and also we will contact the university. Mm -hmm. That can immediately happen. My request to my faculty and my postgraduates, immediately we can work out on that. With that request, I think one or two questions and then the president will be giving his president's remark. Oh, actually, uh, actually uh, the university uh, exchange, uh, about the exchange uh, uh, between the universities, uh, diplomatic channels is uh, very limited. Uh, however, uh, we can, uh, we can uh, inform and we have to inform uh, the information about uh, the uh, academic and uh, uh, academic and, uh, uh, student exchange uh, program. So uh, we will uh, we will make uh, more and more efforts to uh, inform the information about the uh, uh, human uh, exchange, uh, including that uh, including that of. Um, uh, the areas of medicine. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. May I? last uh, before the president sir speaks. Uh, I would. Uh, I have understood after your talk that uh, more of cultural exchange and uh, other things you want to celebrate in the coming year 2022. Well, I have a small uh, suggestion or request. One is we can have a comparative study of Buddha and Basava literature in our Vachana Pitamaha PJ Halakati Center, which we can, with the help of your office. The next is the arts also, like uh, you have seen the, the beautiful uh, portrait which you saw, and uh, the, the tale of Genji's arts, which is very famous of the 12th century Japanese art, uh, based on the novel, the first novel, uh, which can be exposed to the northern part of Karnataka in certain uh, cultural uh, activities. And another is, we in the northern part of Karnataka, especially Bijapur and the neighboring district, we have the folklore arts called as Bayalata and uh, Parijata. It is almost similar to the Kabuki of Japanese. Uh, where there is a blend of music, 
dance and maim so such type of exchanges may give a better picture of japanese culture arts and literature probably those three things can uh, be helpful and as already told by dr das and the honorable vice chancellor uh, some of the areas where we are having a good clinical material we can have exchange with universities we'll spot out those universities and then come to you with a detailed uh, uh, project wherein how we can uh, go ahead with it thank you sir Bachi, sir. Sir, if the chair allows, may I ask a question? And now I request our honourable president and chancellor. Uh, yes. May I? Okay. Uh, thank you for uh, thank you for uh, uh, asking a question. Uh, uh, I cannot uh, I cannot answer the question uh, because. Uh, I have to. I have to get more and more information, uh, and uh, based uh, based on the concrete uh, information, uh, the, we have to consider the, the according uh, to the according with the uh, budget program, uh, the procedure program, and so on. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone. I'm sure we all have learned a lot Excuse about me. the expanse. Excuse me. If the chair allows, I'd like to pose a question to Honorable Consulate General. So this is in, uh, uh, with respect to the perspective of uh, quality use of medication. Since uh, we see uh, Japan as a country who inspire nations, our India is one of them which is being inspired by your nation. How we, as a, as a country, can adapt the strategies uh, the policies which can govern the quality use of medication for a better patient care. As we are seeing the challenge with the use of medication, uh, or uh, rather I should say that we are witnessing uh, there are more diagnoses which are caused by drug induced rather than the diagnosis or the disease diagnosis itself. So as we are becoming more and more aware of these adverse effects and toxicities of drug, how we can bring out the artificial intelligence component of the strategies being uh, utilized at your country, how can they can be implemented so that the quality use of medication be enhanced and the better patient care can be highlighted. So this was a possible collaborative work we can look from your country. So thank uh, you. you mean that uh, collaboration uh, uh, is the collaboration uh, between uh, hospitals? Hospitals, among wherever the drugs are being used. Quality use of medication. We are trying to see how drugs are bringing about misadventure in the human population. So there's a serious challenge to us. Today, we are uh, being treated with the drugs and they're causing lots of side effects. And we end up treating the drug effects rather than the disease. So how we can uh, adopt the strategies being brought about by your country so that that can be implemented here for uh, overall quality of medication of better patient care. And how AI component can be incorporated in this. Uh, it is a very... Um... Okay, uh, about this question, uh, about, uh, the, about your question, uh, the role of the uh, uh, role of the, our uh, consulate yeah. uh, is, uh, is uh, limited. Uh, so uh, we have to uh, we have to share the, with the uh, hospitals on the. Uh, uh, health related, uh, related organization yes. uh, and gender and so on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. That was indeed an interactive session. As medical students, uh, it is our duty to grow not just in terms of education, but also in terms of leadership qualities. To guide us for the same, I request our Honorable Dr. M.B. Patel, sir, Chancellor, BLD deemed to be university for the presidential remark.
on this occasion of visit of honorable deputy consul general consulate general of japan bangalore to historical city vijayapura and uh, plda association and bld university and uh, today you good self have been operated inaugurated this uh indoor sports complex uh in the bld university medical school as today you would uh, you know great the classroom complex of uh, uh the engineering college uh the chief guest and uh, inaugurator of this indoor sports complex honorable deputy consul general consul general of japan bangalore honorable mr katsuma samaro vice chancellor dr rs mudor all the dignitaries on the dais and all the respected uh, faculty members of uh, medical college university and various allied uh, institutions like ayurveda pharmacy nursing and other sister institutions of bld association it was a pleasure having you having you for two days in uh, historical city vijayapura and most of your time was spent in uh, bld association and bld university i am thankful to your good self yesterday also you had we had a uh, wonderful experience of uh, the cultural exchange wherein of course it was more interesting when you did a slight presentation of your food cuisine uh, uh, your gods your uh, uh, the uh, 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 costumes etc it would have been more impressive over here also i was feeling that than your uh, uh, the speech what you have done this one today so it was a indeed a very i think most of the people were on live yesterday also so it was a beautiful presentation yesterday and today also uh, a very impressive uh, 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 your talk on this 70th anniversary of the establishment of uh, diplomatic relations between japan and india and uh, southwest asia japan exchange year on this occasion sir i have uh, made a detailed uh, presentation yesterday at a detailed talk of many 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 people may not have been there in the engineering uh, campus so i am impressed and i not do not want to take much time because already i know we are uh, running late uh keeping this uh, this one what i repeated yesterday and i led up to certain things today here at the medical school one is i have uh, impressed upon you a good self as uh, we have a great tourism uh, potential which is underutilized whether in uh, vijayapura or uh, elsewhere in karnataka or even if you take country at large also wherein uh, the connectivity as your road network your rail network and all things other things as your japanese have an expertise and the similar way we can encase our uh, uh, this one tourism potential the number two is i said uh, that uh, as uh, coming to bijapur bijapur we have uh, uh, we want more industries over here like you bought toyota to hubli we can bring uh, any industries to vijayapura because we have almati dam over here water and land we can assure we will assure you that we have enough water and land which is the most important source now particularly water so as almati dam is situated in vijayapur uh, we do have uh, uh we can provide uh, quality water and quantity water for all the industry so uh, we have uh, uh can have uh, our graduates our uh, employment our students who are here to get employed to and get an employment at the same time uh, i also said uh, about the uh, horticulture thing here we have horticulture fruits like grapes pomegranate lemon etc and uh, we can have look into the food processing industries also we can have the uh, value addition to those uh, this one and uh, most important thing i want to focus now was as for the district kindly uh, consider vijayapur as a destination because water availability land etc and hard working people also 
our engineering graduate, our uh, this one, they are very hard working. So get in the uh, uh, industries in this area, Vijaypur. So this is the prime request to get industries to Vijaypur number one. Whether it is uh, automobile or uh, food processing, electronics, which we are strong, very strong, like Sony or uh, Hitachi, then Panasonic. So many, this one, we are, you know, we are the world leaders. So the industries, if they come to where, we are ready to cooperate. And I'll, took, I'll take personal interest to impress upon the government also. And uh, coming to the most important, uh, uh, this one of uh, BLE Medical University, as rightly said, so I'll tell you the, um, our doctors, our doctors, our engineers, our nursing peers, our pharmacy, this one, they're all very, very dedicated. If you take in a uh, Silicon uh, Valley in California, so it is our uh, uh, students of India, our graduates, young graduates who are working very hard there and which has made uh, 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 the Silicon Valley prosper. Of course, we do have got job opportunities. At the same time, the trade is, is prospering there. Similar way, uh, in here, in this, this one, medical school, see, the main uh, uh, difference between the doctors here and the Western world are, see, Western world, they may have advanced equipments and all other things, but the most important thing when you come to uh, this part, you know, in India, you have a lot of clinical material. See why Indian doctors are very famous because they have dealt with complicated case on, on hand, not on a, a demo. They can see one complicated disease that is on a multiple attached to that, which may not, a demo thing may not even project it. So this is where we have become experts. You know, they can handle any uh, 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 tough cases, difficult cases and cure them and operate them. So as uh, the Dr. Inamdar uh, and Dr. Mudol, our vice chancellor told, they have a lot of clinical material and as our Kusal Das said, the clinical material can be transferred over or digitalized and you utilize Japan also will be benefited. Your students and all your this one doctors will be benefited by the clinical material exchange. And here, with using the artificial intelligence, most importantly, artificial intelligence is going to be the next two, three decades going to rule the world. So everything will be precise. Um, maybe a robo op uh, operating things instead of a doctor. And our people also have to be uh, in tune with the developments of artificial intelligence as well as uh, technology related uh, equipments, etc. So we look forward uh, Japanese collaboration for BLDU, particularly uh, the, the best way to go to the university to university, Japanese universities and BLDU university. If we have a collaboration between two universities, I think uh, one is uh, the medical school, the, the, which, is, uh, which are medical universities, and others are the, the engineering college and technical technological universities and other uh, uh, important uh, institutions. As regarding uh, culture, we have discussed uh, culture and uh, the similarities of India and this one, other dear student was also talking here. So we have uh, uh, a similar culture of Japanese and Indians. We have, they have 100 yesterday. Uh, 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 Mr. Katsuma Sumara was mentioning that they have got 100 gods. The gods like uh, God of wealth, like Lakshmi and Kubera here, and uh, a God of happiness and God of knowledge, Saraswati, what we have. Similarly, they have gods, hundreds of gods. Of course, we have uh, lakhs of gods here. But uh, at the same time, the, the, their culture also varies from state to state. If it's Kerala, we have a different uh, culture. We have different food. We have different uh, costumes. We have different uh, uh, way of uh, living also. Similarly, they also differ in the food habits there in uh, Japan the culture, the costume, area to area. This is all uh, similarities uh, uh, between India and uh, uh, Japan. These three, three important uh, points. One is food, the other is the costumes, and the other is the culture. The difference were like India, in India, Kerala, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Rajasthan, uh, and various other places. So with this, uh, it was uh, uh, a great uh, uh, visit of yours. Uh, and we look forward to translate these things into uh, meaningful uh, um, achievements, both in the, both the countries wherein uh, 
Japan is also benefited and uh, India is also benefited. And more importantly, uh, Vijaypura and BLD uh, Association and BLD University is benefited. So I request all uh, our uh, Vice Chancellor, Dr. Kusal Das, uh, Dr. Inamdar, uh, here as well as Dr. Kulkani, whatever all what transpired between uh, uh, in the engineering college yesterday and today, to summarize that, make a note, make a note in the order so that uh, um, uh, uh, Mr. Katsuma Samara can uh, uh, refer it to the respective uh, uh, institutions over there, respective uh, agencies over there, or respective departments over there, so that uh, things can be taken forward. With these words, I really thank you, sir. It was a wonderful visit of yours. Uh, we're very, very proud, very, very happy that you took two days of time. You uh, came here, visited uh, uh, historical Vij city Vijayapura, as well as uh, 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 BLD uh, Association Engineering College, the medical school, the hospital, and you inaugurated. Uh, you will be permanently residing with us now because your name will be there in the uh, school comp uh, classroom complex and the uh, 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 sports complex here. You are our part of our institutions now. So with this, I think you enjoyed uh, the historical city in Golgumbaj and Ibrahim Roja and all this. Ibra Golgumbaj is the, I told you, the Whispering Gallery, uh, the second largest dome in the world after St. Basilica of uh, Vatican there in Rome. And this is the first largest pillarless dome in the world. That is a pillar, this is without pillar. And of course, you visited us, uh, our uh, Ibrahim Roja is called Black Taj. Taj Mahal was influenced by this, uh, this one, Vinaragra. So this is a great legacy and uh, great history uh, of Bijapur in the two potentials. We have to encash this. And uh, again, I, to conclude, I repeat, tourism, infrastructure, then uh, industries, main importantly, the industries coming to this area. And uh, 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 in this uh, 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 food processing industries, as well as uh, horticulture and uh, uh, BLD University with artificial intelligence and uh, uh, clinical material exchange, whatever the Saldas, the digitalization of all these things and uh, having a research, uh, this one and uh, a solution based uh, uh, relationship here. So with this, I thank you, sir. And I thank you all. You had a very meaningful uh, deliberations also with the consider general and we'll all take, take, take all your opinions uh, forward, making a note and mail and we'll take with uh, 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 Mr. Karsumaso. Mara of the Honorable Deputy Council General of uh, Council General of Japan, Bangalore. Thank you. Thank you, one and all. Thank you, sir. I'm sure this program has opened new doors of opportunities for all of us, and we shall make the best use of it to become better citizens of the world. On that note, I invite Mr. Tejas Reddy, who himself is an example of Japan in BLD, to deliver the vote of thanks. Good afternoon, everyone. I, Tejas Reddy of the BLD family, deem it a great honor to propose the vote of thanks on this memorable occasion. Firstly, I'd like to thank our Honorable Chancellor, Dr. M.B. Patil, sir, for playing a stellar role in the growth of the BLD Association. I thank our Vice Chancellor, Dr. R.S. Mudol, sir, for his stewardship, support, vision, and commitment. I thank our Chief Guest, Katsumasa Maruo-san, who spared his valuable time from the busiest of schedules to grace this delightful occasion. I'd like to thank Mr. Dolwin Katrina, sir, for enlightening us with his presence. My heartfelt thanks to admirable Dr. Arvin Patil, sir, the Dean Faculty of Medicine, Dr. Arun Inamdar, sir, Dean Faculty of Allied Sciences, Dr. J.G. Ambekar, sir, the Registrar, Dr. Raghavendra Kulkarni, sir, the Chief Administrative Officer, and Mr. Gauda M. Patil, sir, the Director of BLD Association, for their able guidance and support, which has always inspired and encouraged us. We are grateful to the heads of departments and the faculty of their uh, valuable for the valuable con contributions and guidance. We would like to express gratitude to the press and media for their excellent coverage of this grand occasion. Lastly, I thank the audience for their patience and attention. Thank you. Thank you, Tejas. I request the gathering to kindly stand up for the Japanese national anthem followed by the Indian National Anthem and to sing both of them with full zeal and enthusiasm. <laughs> 